Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Today we're going to talk about a very cool camp setup, a must-have for your camp thing. This is I've never seen anything like this. I straight up love it. This is made by Nightcore, and uh, it is incredible. I will show you the details of it. But what we have here is we have a multifunctional tool that is very compact and lightweight, but it is a air pump that blows air and it also sucks air in so it can deflate all the way. If you're not aware of that, I will show you um, the advantage of that, but very few of them out there today will actually deflate. It's important if you wanna put it back in to get it fully deflated, this will do that. And it also has a light on it too that is a wicked bright light. And it has three different power levels of that light. Comes with all your fittings and it has a actual um, hanging thing so you can hang it right in camp. I'll show you all the details of this thing and we're going to go through it. But let me first show you the little bit of tabletop review for this. I did not buy this. Nightcore, um, when I contacted them about a different product that I was interested in, which is this one, which will be another video review. This thing is incredible. But when I talked to them about that, um, they uh, or told me that they had this and asked me if I'd want to review it. And as you know, um, I love Nightcore stuff. I've been a Nightcore fan for the last 20 years. Their stuff is incredible. And uh, I'm very happy to review this. I did not buy this. They gave this to me. But I'm telling you, and you know me, I wouldn't review it if I didn't like it. And after playing with it and using it, I straight up love it. And if I didn't, the agreement I have with them, I tell them, if I don't like it, I'm just not going to review it. I'm not going to do a video on it. And I'm sending it back. Um, this thing is incredible. So we have all of our, they give you all of your setup here. I'll show you the unboxing and what it does here in a minute. But you have your inflator side right on here. Okay, two speeds, two variable speeds uh, and for your inflate. And then for your deflate side, you put it here and it draws the air out. Okay, this little compact unit, this thing screams. I mean, it screams. You'll see we'll blow up an air mattress with it. And then, like I said, it deflates or inflates, deflates. Either way, there's two speed. There's a lower speed, okay? And there's high speed. And off. And then you want the light. There's your light. Change the modes. It has beacon. It has SOS. It's got all kinds of stuff on there. I mean, look at that. The thing is insane. Um, you know, wicked, wicked light. Um, and uh, so, like I said, let's do a tabletop review. Then I'm going to show you how it works in real person. All right, so here it is. This is what we have here is this uh, APT, AP10, okay, from Nightcore. This thing cost 46 bucks is what the cost is on it at the time I'm reviewing it. Here's what we're getting in the box. You get your instruction manual here which I also took some notes on my phone, so I, but it tells you the layout, how to do it. Um, it's got a lockout mode. It shows you all that kind of stuff on here. And uh, I'll actually walk you through it a little bit here. Let's just open this up and see. So if we look at this on here, it's, you know, here's your specs, okay, detailed specs. So it's going to tell you the run times and everything right here. Might get a little shadowing. Okay, but you can see, pause this, take a look at the run times, they're amazing for the, you know, the power output for the two settings, what you're going to get for the, uh, for the light, for the actual light itself, and what kind of power you're going to get out of that. Uh, thing is incredible. Um, so for the lockout, you're going to hold both buttons at one time. Okay, I already know, because like I said, I've been playing with this. So if I hold both buttons at once, there's the light, hang on. Okay, see how it's flashing red? It's locked out now. See how it's red? Okay, so it won't accidentally come on in your bag. Okay, that's a very nice feature. To bypass that, you press and hold both of them. Okay, till the light flashes. Now you are in go mode. Okay, now you can make it work. Fan on, blue is running. Change speed. Fan off. Light on. See, and then you press and hold. There's your light. Different modes of the light, low, medium, high, which is insane, and off. Okay, so you get that lockout mode, your USB charging port right here. So that's really nice, and I love that it swings out of the way. It doesn't have to be constantly being flexed and bent uh, for long-term durability. We have our handle on the bottom here, which is kind of has its own little storage locking. It locks into position, which is nice, so it's not going to just come loose. But I struggle with it a little bit. you got to kind of get your fingernail under there. And, uh, but that's that mechanism right there for your, uh, to be able to hang it in camp or anything you want to do or put it on a lanyard or anything you want that way. Okay, but battery charging, this is your discharge port for draining, uh, uh, you know, whatever you're inflating and here's your inflator side. 
Now, it also comes with this bag right here, which is nice because this whole, look at this whole thing fits right in there. They give you all of your different attachments, okay, for all of your different size setups that you might have for your different inflate or inflatables, okay. This one I've never seen before. It's pretty neat. I have not seen where, but that would even, I don't know what that even goes to. I've never seen this end before. This goes right on here, but I don't know what that round squishy end is. I have not yet seen one of those before on any of the, the items I have. But that's your whole setup right there. And it's all nice and compact and it fits right inside of this bag. And now you also have the charging cord, which I will go grab because it's really nice charging cord too. But it's going to fit right inside of this little pouch. Sealed up, done. I mean, that's your inflator. This thing is incredible. And it's a camp light. And it's got, you know, and it deflates. So let me go grab that charging cord because I do want to show that to you as well too. Now here's the charging cord, and because uh, I've been using this, like I said, I've already ran this thing down one whole time. Here we've been playing with it. I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't test it and review it if I wasn't sure of it. Um, and I did. And so what? This is nice though. But they even give you your own. Nightcore does this on all of their lights and all their cords. But you get your own little wrap built right on here that stays right on there. I mean, look at how nice and neat that is. And there's your charging cord. So that's this whole setup right here. Um, the directions, like I said, you get to, you can hear some of the descriptions it will show you. So it's just going to make life easy for you to understand. Rather than me sit here and explain it to you, you can pause them and check them out if you want. Okay, but the key thing here, the big takeaway, 300 lumen light. That 300 lumen light and... Uh, um, it's going to run for three and a half hours at 300 lumens, six and a half hours at 150 lumens on medium, and uh, 40 lumens it runs for 26 hours. That's pretty incredible that it's doing it at 4,500 Kelvin, so it's a perfect color temperature on the, the light on there. I mean, we're talking very, very functional. Um, it's an 18 watt, uh, you know, compressor on here is what we're basically looking at. And... Um, uh, what is our runtime for inflators? Uh, right here. So 300 uh, airflow rate is 300 liters a minute at uh, 40. It's going to run for 40 minutes on on high speed, um, and it's 150 liters per minute on uh, uh, one an hour and a half. So that's pretty pretty incredible. That's pretty. Oh, I mean, this thing's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy and we are going to inflate an air mattress because that's what most people are going to be using it for. But remember. Kayaks, uh, inflatable air mattresses, your pillows, your uh, inner tubes, your kids play toys, your, uh, you know, all the little stuff like that, your little kids pools, everything that you can think of that you need to inflate. This little dude right here will do no cords, no plugging it into your cigarette lighter in your car, your 12 volts, or no having to do any of that stuff. Just portable power in an ultra compact package built very, very quality and robust. Let's look at that for a minute. I mean, this thing is just built like a tank. Let's spin it around so you get the fancy night core here to look right. There we go. But I mean, well built, just quality all the way through. I mean, Nightcore always does. Nightcore is top shelf gear. I love Nightcore. Like I said, you guys, if you follow my podcast, my videos, you know I love anything Nightcore makes. They're just phenomenal. So here it is right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a second. We're going to set up an air mattress and uh, get it ready. We're going to inflate it and deflate it. We'll be right back. And uh, what we're going to do, come in where you can see me there for a minute. There we go. So we got our air mattress. We got that pump. Look at how little this thing is. I mean, it's just amazing. It's just so nice. So, but brand new air mattress. Now, the reason we want a deflator function like that is because you're never going to get all the air out by just turning it and then rolling it and doing all that stuff. A deflator will suck it all out so that you can actually get it back to small enough size to put it in boxes and storage bags by deflating it all the way. So the deflator is a feature that's important. Maybe not so much for your air mattresses. Yes, I think so, but some people won't care. They'll just stuff it in a in a duffel bag or whatever they got to do. But it's tremendously important for like kayaks. Uh, when you guys know that I like like the uh, Intex inflatable kayaks and things like that that I've used. Um, in order to get them to fit back in their bags for port or for storage, you need a deflator to get them done that low. And this thing here will actually do the work for you. So I love that. Now it also has. Now uh, that little, that light we got in the middle here that you see light up right there, that little LED that's in the middle between the buttons right there. Watch when I hit it. See it right there? 
Now, there's a battery charge indicator. If that is green, like you just saw when I touched that, see how it turns green? That means we are greater than 50% power. If it turns blue, that when it's now it's blue when it's running, but when you just hit it and check it, if it's blue, it means you're less than 50% power, and if that's red, that means you have less than 10% power. So it actually has a battery indicator built into it as well too, which will be real handy when you're running the light. So, um, but anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this out. So the air mattress, one of ours here, and we're gonna throw it open. I don't even know what size this is. I think this is one of our singles that we use for camping. And hang on one sec. But so what you're gonna to wanna to do is just lay it out like so. Yep, this is a single. Okay, and find your valve. Here's my valve right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to match whichever one of these fittings that we have here is going to fit into that valve, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's going to be this one here. This is going to be, you want the biggest one, the one that's going to fit the best in there, the, you know, the most air volume. So we have it, we have that good and open right there, and we can inflate that through there. Now you can also, on some of these, like this mattress here, we have the option of putting that plug in and then inflating through this smaller one on this side too, and this has got a reverse airflow. So we could do that too if we wanted to. Um, but let, let's actually, let's just do it the right way here. We're gonna, this is how you deflate because you can open it all the way up. The inflator on this has a plug and most people are gonna do it that way. So I would do it the faster way, which would be to go through that main valve. But let's do this. Let's see if this is gonna fit in here. Nope, see we would need this smaller one for that. So we're just gonna do it this way first and then I'll show you how I top it off. But I prefer to inflate through the deflate valve if we have one that has a big enough volume and then when I close and plug it, I'll touch it off or touch it up through the other one, but this makes it go much quicker. So we're gonna stick that right in there. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna let it do its thing. I can even set it here and walk away from it and let it just work. And then we'll come back in about 30 seconds to a minute when it's done. So nice and compact and portable. <coughs> and the fact that you can take this thing anywhere with you, no cords, no messing, no rolling cords and hoses, no external hoses that you gotta wrap around it. Just so simple and convenient. Look at it just working away. I mean, for a USB rechargeable unit, the speed of this thing is incredible. That's really incredible. and the simple convenience of it. Okay, so now as we're getting close to this, what I wanna do, so we're there, I'm gonna actually take this thing, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, and then we're gonna plug this valve in. So we already got the bulk of that in. Okay, so we lost a lot of that air just now, or some of that air, but we didn't have to take the time. Look at the different size of orifice Okay, if we did it through the other, through the check valve or going through the deflate valve. So that's why I always do it through the deflate valve first to get the bulk of that air in. Then we're going to put this one in. We're going to stick this one right in there. Just jam it in. Let it do its thing. Hit the button. Going to top that off. It's only going to take a couple seconds. Look at that. That's all there is to it. Turn it off. You can turn it down to lower speed. That's the lower speed. Okay, higher speed. Okay, lower speed. 
and off. Now with that check valve, when I pull this out, most of the things see it's not going to deflate. Okay, so now what we have here is a perfectly inflated, perfectly set quality. I mean, we got an air mattress that quick and easy. So we're real happy. Now the key is deflating. Okay, and now not only do we have a perfectly good air mattress, we also have a awesome night light for low mode that we can take and we can hang up right here and hang it right in camp. Use it, enjoy it. See something bumping around at night, you want more power, you can go to meet it. I mean, look at the power of this thing. It's just incredible. That light is insane. Um, so we have that option. Now the deflate factor is important. Like I said, many of you guys know you pull this out, you're gonna sit on here and you're gonna keep fighting with it. So we're gonna grab this whole valve. Oh, we're gonna pull that out. Here we go, going down, right? Life is good. If you guys do any camping or anything like this, you know what I'm talking about. This is kind of the factor. And then you're going to get it down. And once it goes down, you're going to have to grab this end. And you're going to start rolling it and fighting with it. And all this kind of crap to get the thing to get small enough that you can pack it back up. Well, with this, we just put that bigger one back on, on the top. See, so rather than put it on the fan side, we're putting it on the deflator side. We're going to see, because this has still got a lot of air in it. See it all? Okay, it's a pain to get out when you try to start folding this. You can't get all that air out of there very easily, um, especially in kayaks and things like that. So here we put it in here, and we hit that deflator, and it is sucking all that air out and blowing it out the motor side. So it's going to suck this thing down like a pancake. Look at it. See it pulling it down? sucking it down flat, it's going to draw all this air out of it and make it small enough that we can actually fold this thing up without any problem. That deflator is a huge asset. See it? Look at it. Sucking it right down. Whole thing shriveling right up to the ground flat. That basically means it sucked everything it can out of there. So we turn that off. Now we have a completely deflated, simple and easy to re-roll up and fit right back in the box when we fold it. But now we can fit this in and put it back in our box the way it came. But look at that. That's nice. And like I said, you guys, you know what I'm talking about, how you just never get the ability to do that. And now we can. I could take this, put it right back in here, and look at how simple that was. So, now I'm not going to have it folded the right size, but point being, very easy to do this and get that whole thing put back in your box or your bag or whatever. But look at how that completely deflated. That's the takeaway. Deflated 100% completely deflated and uh, if we were to fold that the way the instruction said it would have fit right in there So there it is for you. Let me uh, reset that camera. All right, so there it is again the Nightcore AP AP 10 show you the box again right here Just an incredible unit and uh, I'm so happy. I have it like I said, it's going to work great for the kayaks, work good for the air mattresses. I will not ever go camping without having this there. Um, it's just, like I said, such a little lifesaver. You take this, you put your little, uh, all your little units together here, like so. Drop them right inside of your little bag in the bottom. Stick that right in the bag, too. Put your charging cord in the bag. Give it a little tight. Done. There it is. That's your whole entire charger right there. This thing is just awesome. Just awesome. Can't say enough good things about it. Nightcore, always top shelf. AP10, or yeah, AP10. Very, very happy. Check it out for yourself. And thanks for watching as always.